very happy noon to all. I'm Professor Dr. Sampurnam from the Department of Mental Health Nursing and I'm JK Ki Sampurnamal College of Nursing, Kumarapalim, Namakal, India. So I'm here to present a research paper on effectiveness of dietic sleep intervention and pumpkin seed balls on sleep quality among patients with Alzheimer's disease in selected Alzheimer's care centers at Coimbatore, India. So your introduction studies consistently show the negative health impact of sleep problems in both Alzheimer's disease patients and their caregivers. However, only a few sleep interventions have been conducted for Alzheimer's disease patients or their caregivers in community setting, and none have addressed both members of the diet concurrently. Song in year 2021. Next slide, please. To fill these gaps, this study aims to develop a sleep intervention program specifically tailored for uh, Alzheimer's disease patients or caregiver diets that both experience sleep difficulties. Pumpkin seeds provide natural source of tryptophan and amino acid that promotes sleep. Next slide. Methods. Prior to the collection of data, Permission was obtained from the concerned authority in selected Alzheimer's care center at Quambato. After obtaining written informed assent and consent, patients with Alzheimer's disease who fulfill the inclusion criteria like both gender who are clinically diagnosed with early and middle stage of Alzheimer's disease and who can give uh, assent and consent to participate in the study and who can understand and speak Tamil or English was recruited and enrolled in the study. Next. The research design used for the present study was through experimental design with the experimental group control group control setting and the randomization. The total sample size was 60 subjects out of which 30 in experimental group and 30 in control group. The study subjects was assigned randomly to either experimental group 30 or control group 30. Next. Pre-test was conducted by using demographic variables and Wittenberg's sleep quality index. An experimental group received dietic sleep intervention for 30 to 40 minutes for the period of three months. Dietic sleep intervention was intervened for both the subjects and caregivers. Next slide, please. It consists of the components such as sleep schedule and sleep schedule comfortable bedding, fixed bedtime and wake up time, and dimming the lights, hearing to relaxing and soothing music uh, was rendered. In sleep compression, the caregivers were motivated and instructed to maintain and record sleep diary of the subjects. And in stimulus control, the caregivers were educated regarding going to bed only when sleepy, avoid excessive napping during the day, need to find the average number of hours of night sleep. And finally, in daily walking, the subjects were motivated to walk daily for 10 to 15 minutes twice a day, morning and evening. Next, uh, pumpkin seeds were purchased commercially and powdered. 40 grams of powdered pumpkin seeds was prepared as bowls and mixed with water. These bowls were given twice a day for the period of three months. Next slide, please. Control group received standard methods of care as usual care they received from the home. And post test was conducted at the end of first month, second month, and third month to make average of it and to know the exact comparison I've done at the end of first month, second month, and third month by using the same assessment tools in experimental group and control group. Next slide. And then results, pad T test and repeated measures on over. Why have taken why have selected uh, repeated measures on over in the sense since there are three post tests to make average of it or to make comparison of it? I've selected repeated measures on over. Uh, it showed statistical significance in improving the sleep quality in experimental group comparatively to the uh, con I mean control group among patients with Alzheimer's disease. And it has been depicted in table one. Next slide, please. This is a tabula representation of sleep quality in experimental group and control group with the pre and post test scores with captions and stuffs. And the variable here is sleep quality. 
in experimental group the pre test mean score was 14.3 experimental group post test mean score was 19.1 and in control group pre test mean score was 15.4 and again in control group post test mean score was 16.2 so when compared with pre test the post test score again augmented or increased i didn't get that there is some real quality of sleep and then a significant party to show statistical significance between experimental arm um, and in an in in experimental group pre and post test showed statistical significance t is equal to 6.48 which is highly significant in control group pre and post test t is equal to 1.45 which is not significant and repeated measures anova in experimental group post test uh, in the sense three post tests at the end of first month second month and third month their ratio is equal to 4.006 which is highly significant again and in control group post test like first month second month and third month post test their ratio is equal to 1.005 which is not significant next slide please in discussion the study findings reveal that administration of dietic sleep intervention and pumpkin seed bowls were significant in enhancing the sleep quality this result is consistent with the study findings of uh, and so so metal in the 2019 who reported in the case series study about behavioral sleep intervention program targeting patients with alzheimer's disease and the caregivers next slide dietic behavioral sleep program can be tailored to various types of sleep problems among patients with alzheimer's disease and their family caregivers for the goal of improving daytime function by reducing sleep disturbances at night next slide caregiver training and participation of both members of the diet and sleep uh, management may benefit the patient's sleep and other health outcomes reduces a uh, caregiver stress and burden and ultimately delay or prevent institutionalization of alzheimer's disease patients next slide please pumpkin seeds are rich in nutrients such as vitamin a vitamin e zinc omega 3 and omega 6 fatty acids the zinc found in pumpkin seeds uh, plays an important role in improving memory and brain function pumpkin seeds or true brain food containing amino acid this was cited by shami george in the year 2014 and pumpkin seeds provide natural source of tryptophan an amino acid that promotes sleep so whenever you want you feel like sleeping or you want to sleep really in the night you can take you can take a cup of even milk which contains tryptophan this pumpkin seeds also it is very equivalent to a cup of milk next slide please conclusion in dietic sleep intervention and pumpkin seed bowls were quite effective for enhancing the sleep quality among patients with alzheimer's disease right yes these are all some of the citations and references in bibliography so thank you so much for your patience listening thank you all thank you ma'am